I've had the sea shanty stuck in my head for like five days now. And it's a real meeple boys. We better hurry, boys. Do we like sea shanties or do we not like them now? I'm confused. Hi friends. So today's video is very exciting. I think it's just about time to do another palette potential. If you don't know what palette potential is, it is a series I do on my channel where I take a palette and I explore it as deeply as humanly possible. And I try and come up with as many different looks as I can. I started this series because I was looking for more in-depth reviews of palettes and there just wasn't that many because beauty YouTubers usually just get so much PR that they only have time to review or try out a palette once, maybe twice. And so what I like to do instead is do several videos on one palette and not only try and do as many looks as possible, but a variety of different styles of looks from very basic to incredibly bold. And you guys seem to like them, so I'm just gonna keep doing them. Today's palette is very exciting because it is the very first palette that I've ever received in PR. Today, we are going to be starting a new palette potential with the Antiquity palette from Noctex Cosmetics. And if that sounds like fun to you, then please keep on watching and let's get started. As you may have surmised from the size of my audience, I do not receive a whole lot of PR. In fact, I receive next to no PR. It is very rare someone just offers to send me makeup. And even with this palette, it wasn't quite that. They were doing a PR search and I threw my hat in the ring. Thank you so much Noctex for sending this to me. I am honored. You know, I'm a huge fan. Their liquid lipstick formula, I think is one of the best on the market. The whole vibe of their brand is just like perfection. So when they announced they were doing a new palette, I wanted so badly to try it out, but knew that it was similar enough to things I already owned that I wasn't gonna be picking it up myself, which is why it was so exciting to receive the confirmation email for this. I was not expecting it at all. So let's just take a look at it right now. Isn't it a dream? It is a dark, moody, witchy dream. But also something interesting to note, which I wanted to bring up is that you may have noticed that there is a ton of similarities with this palette and the Arcana palette by Shroud, which is my favorite palette of 2020. And I have no idea how this came to be, but I think we should just get it out of the way right now and do a little bit of comparison. As you can see, there's quite a few similarities, not necessarily 100%, but you can tell that the vibe is very, very similar. But just looking at it, I do see subtle differences. What I can see from the Antiquity palette is a wider range of neutral matte shades. Arcana, I think, sacrificed a couple of neutral mattes for some more shimmer shades. Antiquity only has three shimmer shades, which is this wine colored metallic, this antique gold colored metallic, and this deep shifty green metallic. I do think that the shroud metallics are a little bit brighter and they also included a couple of those neutral metallics. Also Antiquity has this very, very deep navy, which doesn't exist up here. I think for argument's sake, I wanna swatch a couple of them side by side. This this is Morning from Antiquity, and this is Sacred from Arcana. So Relic is from the Arcana palette, and Script is from Antiquity. I'm noticing that the shades from Shroud are actually a little cooler in tone than the ones from Antiquity. Antiquity is definitely skewing a lot warmer. Aristocrat definitely has a more yellowy green undertone than Shroud. Shroud definitely has a bit more blue in it. Gas Lamp is definitely more dandelion yellow. It's still very mustardy, but it has a bright tone. Entity is definitely more muted. Alter from the Arcana palette definitely has more of a red ruddy undertone as opposed to asbestos which is a lot more orange. I think these are the shades from both palettes that have the most similarities to them. And while none of the shades are identical to each other, you can definitely see a little bit of crossover for sure. I mean makeup production is very interesting with production timelines and all that. I don't know how feasible it would be for Noctex to do a straight copy of Arcana. I'm not really sure if the timelines would match up necessarily. Maybe it's just one of those awful coincidences. For me, I can't really say either way. However, I do think that it is interesting and the similarities are worth noting. But it does happen fairly often, you know, with these brands that kind of have the same vibe. I've definitely seen more than one rainbow pastel palette last year. I've mistaken some brands for other brands when I was scrolling through Instagram. It happens all the time. And there's probably nothing sinister about it. It's just 
one of those things. Either way, this palette really excites me. The aesthetics, the color story is right up my alley. So I think we should just crack into it. Let's just go ahead and prime away. Now, this is not a first impressions. I did crack into this palette last night. I decided to do an Instagram video, just do a quick brown smoky eye. So I've already done something very neutral, very gold, and I might come back around to those shades, but I think today we should probably switch it up just to keep it interesting. Also, this void of a navy is just like calling my name. Cue the Jeopardy theme song. Oh boy. Let's just start by fluffing in a little bit of a transition shade. We got ruffle here. I think that will work just fine. And let's take it high up in the inner crease and start packing it on the outer edge as well. These shades are very softly pressed, so there's quite a bit of kick up in the pan, but they feel so velvety smooth on the lid. I do like that they included a couple of matte shades for the very pasty. It's nice to see a really wide variety of neutrals in here. Neutrals that can work basically for any skin tone. Not being very precise at all with this shade. It's mostly there just to create the initial shadow. Nothing fancy. Okay, let's jump into script. Again, this is just here to add more depth, more shadow. Don't need to care too much about it. Pretty though, hey? Let's take faint here. It's leaning a bit on the cool side, more like a berry shade. Yeah, let's get that nice blend going between the shades. Already this palette is giving me 18th century Victorian England consumption vibes. And I'm pretty sure that is exactly what they were going for. I mean, listen, we have shade names like Aristocrat, Gaslamp, Faint, Plague, Widow, Mourning, Asbestos, and my favorite, Arsenic. So I think that is absolutely what the vibe is. These shades make a really nice combo though. Okay, I don't wanna take it too far out that way. I'm trying to keep it a little bit more contained. Lovely. Let's just do the lower lash line while we're here. Taking faint and tucking it right under the lashes here. I feel like this palette is the perfect companion to Little Moonchild's clothing brand, Blackwood Castle. She's literally just making Victorian dresses. So I feel like these two should team up. And I'm just taking this big brush and going over the edge with a little bit of script. Do I cut a crease or do I leave Leave it really blendy. I think I want to try it with a finger first. Let's hit up dearly. Hmm, tis a bit dry. Maybe I should have gone in with some primer or something because it's not as punchy as I was expecting it to be. The metallic is definitely not like my personal cup of tea. It is very subtle and I prefer something with a little bit more punch, something that just picks up more light. I don't hate it though. I wanted to do something red in the waterline just to sort of continue with this whole kind of sickly vibe. This is the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner from the Hocus Pocus. Polocus. This is the ColourPop Creme Gel Liner in the shade Sistas from the Hocus Pocus collection. I think I'll layer a little bit of trick or treat on top. I certainly like how quickly this came together and I'm excited to see what it looks like with some lashes on. All right, let me go do it on the other side and then we will come back and finish the rest of the look. All right, other side is done. Lashes are on. These are an old favorite, Bat Wings from Likely Makeup. Pulled out a fresh pair for this one. I just wanted to show shape that wasn't too winged out on the edges. And I feel like a lot of my lashes skew in that direction right now. But I had these as a backup in my drawer for quite some time. And I thought, you know, let's pull them out. Really lightweight, super fluttery, very comfortable. For blush, I'm going to pull this out again. It's the NYX Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush. But before that, I want to layer some Cairo underneath, kind of mimicking what is happening on the eye. Right, let's go into the NYX, blending it right up into the eyeshadow underneath the outer edge. For highlight, I think I just wanna go with Fenty Beauty in Metal Moon. Let's 
let's pop that in the inner corner. Now for lips, sadly, I don't think the new shade is going to work. They just launched this color along with the Antiquity palette. It is called Devotion. This was heavily anticipated for me. I've been searching the world over for the perfect oxblood liquid lip. So when they announced this, I was sold. I already used this one for the look I did on IG video, but it's just not going to work with this look. So I just pulled out another one from the collection. This is Requiem. It's the darkest of all three of the nudes that they already carry. Let me just go ahead and line these real quick. prettiest colors, best formula. Honestly, if you've been sleeping on these liquid lip vials, they are so worth a try. All right, I think that is it, folks. Finish it off with a little bottom mascara. And this is look number one all complete. Not the direction I thought I was gonna go in today, but I really like it. I love these really blown out drapey looks. I didn't realize until just now that their entire collection of liquid lip vials are going to be perfect companions to this palette. I mean, it seems like a no brainer right now, but I really wasn't thinking about that. As far as the palette goes, I love the matte formula. So far, everything is just so velvety, smooth and soft and blendable. Even when I swatched them, they just had the softest feeling to them and they just give you that effortless blend. I wasn't even really being very careful with the shades. I was pretty much just windshield wiper, swiping them around. It looks like I put a lot of effort into this and that's the testament of a good eyeshadow. When you can put the minimum amount of effort in and get maximum results. Also just realize that the sticker is still on the mirror. So why don't we just do that right now? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, dug my nail right into that, didn't I? Ugh, this is why we can't have nice things. This shade here, Dearly, the red shimmer shade, it's certainly not a metallic. It does not have ultra mirror shine finish that I usually look for in a metallic. It's definitely more of just a shimmer shade. If you like that sort of thing, great. It's not really my bag. I do wish there was a little bit more payoff, but I do understand that it takes all kinds to <laughs> make a world and sometimes not everything is gonna be made just for you. So I can understand the value of a softer shimmer formula. I want to know what you guys think of this look. I would also love to know which direction you'd like me to go in next. Please leave that in the comments below. I would love to hear your feedback. I would also love to hear your feedback about the similarities between the Antiquity palette and the Arcana palette. I'm really excited for this palette potential series. I hope you guys are too. We haven't done one in a while. I'm going to head out, but before I do, let me just wrap it up here. Here are the many ways you can help out my channel. Channel. You can give this video a huge thumbs up. You can comment down below what you thought of everything. You can subscribe, getting close to 2K folks. Here we go. Any and all engagement with this video is crucial to my growth on this platform as a small creator. If you have a few spare moments of your life, please engage, engage, engage. You can follow me on other social media. I will leave those right there. Please go check out my Patreon if you wanna see more behind the scenes type videos, chit chat, get ready with me style things. If you want more input in the content I put out on this channel, or if you just wanna support a starving artist. As of right now, I'm just going to keep taking the petitions that are being sent my way in my inbox, and I'm just gonna drop them all into the description box down below. All right, folks, please stay safe, stay sane, wash your hands, wear a mask, stay home if you can. Just keep doing your best and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye. Ah, that coffee is so cold.